It gets even hotter in these rhinos. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kang Toys Huge Rhino! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of Huge Rhino. His name is Huge Rhino. On this side we have Huge Rhino. On this side we have Huge Rhino. Up front here, Huge Rhino. On this side we have Warning! Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. We got a bunch of QR codes. If you want to scan them, go ahead, scan them. On the back of the box, you have an image there of his Rhino mode. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card. With some more imagery there of Huge Rhino. And on the back, things and stuff that I cannot read. Text specs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. Then, moving right along, here we have Huge Rhino, and this is the final component of Kang Toys Thunder King, their Preda King, and this is their take on Headstrong. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode, and he looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. Look at this boy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this boy. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Oh, love the design. Of this figure looks fantastic in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look and at those huge abs, but at that huge noggin. There's that huge noggin. And see, very nicely done face sculpt there. Nice gold for the face. You do have the transclearing eyes. They do light bite, but again, this case of kind of getting that light in there just right, but they will glow. Again, the, the rhino head back here kind of blocks the light a little bit. You got a lot of gold and this nice metallic red throughout. You got some transclearing bits as well, some nice silver. And of course, you had little tampograph details throughout as well. But overall, love the design of this guy. He just looks fantastic. And freaking tastic. Got some even, even got some spikes there on his knees. Okay, you got some more than nice silver, his big old feet. His huge feet. And move up the back. It's a pretty clean transformation. A little bit of a backpack there, but all in all, not too bad. I think he looks fantastic. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you do have your wiggly waggly. You can look up, do a good squirrel. You can look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms. Can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet joint, outward movement, again, nice ratchet, and as you can see, the shoulder pad will move out of the way, so you can get that extra range of movement. Everything just kind of moves independently of one another, which is quite nice. I do have bicep, ro bicep rotation, which is up here. It is quite snug on my copy, but it is there. Moving on down the arm, you do have... A double jointed elbow, so he has a nice full range of movement here. You can move this elbow pad if you want to, hey, things that move if you need them to move. Um, the forearm also rotates if you need that as far as the hands go. The wrists can rotate. You also have a hinge in here that allows the hands to move outward if you need them to say stop, if you need that to happen. Um, as far as the fingers go, the thumb is on a hinge at the base that allows it to move up and down. It is also on a ball joint right there, so it can rotate, and you have a hinge there. And each finger is on a ball joint at the base, and a hinge right there. So you got some nice, poseable fingers. You have waist rotation, uh, no ab crunch. These panels can move out of the way to accommodate the legs. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You kind of move things out of the way. You can do the full splits and a little extra. You have thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee. Well, the top joint is very stiff, but you got a double jointed knee there. It gives you a nice full range of movement there. Make sure things don't come untabbed as far as the feet go. Um, the toe itself can move up, it can move down. You do have ankle tiltage and you also have rotation. 
Now, as far as accessories go, you do get some weaponry. You get a big old double-barreled blaster here, just done in black with that bit of silver. A little tampograph there on either side. They actually put it backwards on this side. <laughs> they wanted to mirror it, so it's just kind of backwards there, but it's okay. But you can see a nice double-barreled blaster right there. And he has not one, not two, but three different swords here. So you got these two here, which you can see are different sizes, different shapes. They both have handles. You can also move up like that if you want to. And there are pictures of him kind of holding these underslung, which looks pretty cool. So things you can do. And you have this one as well. Again, all the blades just done in orange. The handle itself again can move up. If you wanted to, you can hold it like that. If you wish, hold it underslung again. All things you can do if you want to do it. So you got those three swords. Um, you also get this connector piece. This is for the arm cannon for combined mode. So we'll show off how this works when we review the combined mode tomorrow. And the last thing you get are some replacement parts. Uh, you get these bits right here, and they are meant to replace uh, these Right here, these are the sections that came with uh, Thorilla. These are the uh, the knee braces that uh, are for the combined mode, and they replaced this section here, and I don't know what that's supposed to be fixing. I mean, this is, like, stupid tight, so maybe it's... These are going to be a bit looser, a bit easier to move around. Maybe that's what it's fixing, because maybe this was so tight that it was leading to people breaking them. I'm not sure, but I will be swapping these out at some point. It's very easy to do. It's just a single screw right there just undo the screw pop it out pop a new piece in screw it back in not rocket science but hey replacement parts always appreciated and of course huge rhino can wield his weapons so he can pew pew hack hack pew pew hack hack and all of that good stuff right there so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the power of the primes headstrong and here he is with G1 Headstrong, because he's precious, oh so precious. Here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. And of course, here at long last, we have the full family photo here. The old members of the family, the new members of the family, their pet crab and everything. But simply a gorgeous, gorgeous looking set of figures. My god, these guys look fan freaking tastic. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. And again, it looks gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to come back here to the back and we want to just kind of extend all this up we're going to bring all of this back just rock this back as far as it will go we're going to take his head rotate it 180 and just flip it down like so we can take this this is black panel that's in here and we can bring that forward and that can just sit there for now and we can work on the backpack here so you have this bit that you're going to untab Release, release, there we go. Bring that down, untab it. We're gonna take this top section here. We're just gonna swing it up, it's on a double hinge. And we have these little side panels here that we're going to swing up. So bring those all the way up, out of the way up, like that. Get that out of the way. You just wanna come up in here and flip out this little section. And these two little panels here, that we're just going to flip out on either side, flippity flip. And then close that up, and then we can just bring this down and have it sit nice and flush there, like that. And then we can just bring this up and over. There are tabs that will go into notches right here for this little collar piece. So I just bring those up and tab those in, like that. Next thing you want to do, by the way, that's totally a mode we can do right here too. That, you know what, that works, that works also. But anyway, next thing we're going to do is we're going to just kind of bring the arms up so we can get up under here. You want to take this silver section, pop it down, and if things are in the way, just kind of shift that waist. Bring that over, also get this out of the way so you can bring that up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Just bring that arm up, shift this gold section back. Pop this little silver section down again. Rotate the waist if things are getting in your way. 
and bring that back so it looks like that. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna untab the shoulder and it's in, on a double hinge, so you're gonna take it and shift it down. And then it's gonna go into these two bottom slots here. So tab that in, push it in nice and snug-like. You can see how that drops the arm down. Let's do it on the other side, just untab, shift it down and plug it in, plug it in. And you got that going. So now we can get the arms situated. So what you wanna do here is you want to rotate the arm 180 at the bicep like that uh, you just want to rotate the hand here so you can get up under here and open up this panel you want to rotate the hand so the thumb is pointed down you want to bring this down which will bring that beast mode foot with it then just straighten all that out close that up and just rotate this around bring it up so it's oriented properly and there you got one leg all done, and second first, just like the first. So let's rotate this whole thing around at the bicep. Then just rotate that, just get out of the way so you can open this panel up. Bring that hand down, rotate it in. Bring that beast mode foot up with it. Close that up, rotate around, and boom, there you have those front legs all done. And next thing we're gonna do is we're going to rotate the waist 180, like so. Uh, take these gold sections here, flip these panels out, that get them out of the way. So you can then take these crotch panels here and bring them up, so sitting in there like that. Now you're gonna take these skirt panels here and just swing them back, swing them back, like that and just kind of get them out of your way for now so now we're going to work on the legs so what's going to happen here is you want to untab this side panel here it's on double hinge just bring it out there is a tab that goes into a slot right here this little panel is supposed to swing out but it's not the easiest to do all you have to do really is just give it a little wiggle 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 and that will pop it out and then you can grab hold and open this up so once you've done that you want to take this whole section here, bring this out, take this foot, just bring it up and over, close that up. That will allow you to now take this whole section and slide it up. You now want to close this little panel here and this tab will go into a little notch right here in the side of the leg. So if you have it lined up just right, it should just pop right in and look like that. Now you can take this, just bring it up and over, and that will sit there like so. So now what we're going to do with all of this is you want to just kind of rock all this forward like that. And here's what we're going to do a, a good bit of twist in here. So you want to take the toe section, you want to rotate it 180, then you need to twist the whole foot around. So you can then rotate the heel 180. And then once you've done that, you want to twist it all back around here and the heel will slide up. The toes will compress up on a double hinge, which will reveal these two tabs right here. And those two tabs are gonna end up going into this slot right here. So you just bring all this up and tab that in. Once you've done that, you take this and get the heel out of the way and rotate this around. Like that and that will sit right there like so and you got that all done and the second verse is just like the first and now that we have both sides done you're just gonna take both legs here and just tab them together like so and now we're pretty much at the home stretch here so you want to take these sections and just bring them all the way down make sure they're sitting nice and flush you want to take this red panel here bring it out Rotate it 180 and this will tab over this section here. Just line it up and tab that in like that. Same thing on the other side. Make sure that's down and sitting nice and flush. Untab, rotates, bring that in, plug it in, plug it in, like so. Then you want to come down here. These skirt panels have a tab right here that'll go into that slot and a tab right here that'll go into a slot up in there. So you just line that up, and again, plug that in, bring that down, swing it over, and plug it all in, like that. So 
So that squares all of that up right there. And we just need to come in here, flip out his tail, flip out the tail, just bring that down. There are these two tabs right here, which will go into slots on either side. Bring that down, tab that in. Now he's got his little tail. And then you just take the head, just kind of collapse it up on this double hinge here. So that is sitting nice and flush. You also have this little panel under the chin that you can bring out just to fill all that in, like so. Make sure he's all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have a huge rhino in his beast mode. You can actually spin him. You can actually spin him. But there he is. And a beautiful, beautiful looking beast mode here, in my opinion. Again, love this. Love this so much. Just nice and cohesive, just big and bulky as a rhino is supposed to be. And I think they did a phenomenal job here. Phenomenal job. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that huge rhino noggin. See, very nicely done here. You got those tampograph details. The horns done in a smoky transclearing plastic. Looks great. You can get the transclearing plastic for the eyes there. Unfortunately, the eyes don't light pipe because there's no way for light to really get in there. So that's unfortunate. They gave they gave them light piping for the eyes in beast mode, but you can't really make any good use of that. Um, but it is what it is. But again, love the way the body of the rhino comes together. Really nicely done, just nice and cohesive. I mean, you could complain, maybe this little, you know, section here is kind of empty, but that's pretty much the only real nitpick for me anyway. Otherwise, I think it looks fantastic. You got the big old rhino booty going on there. But overall, looks fantastic. There is the top. There is the bottom. He does slide like rhino slide. Hooray for sliding rhinos. And for comparison, here he is with the power of the Primes, Headstrong. And here he is with G1, Headstrong, because precious, oh, so precious. And here we have the Beast Mode family portrait. Um, not really easy to get all these guys in frame, but they look fantastic. A beautiful, beautiful set of figures here. Just a really, really impressive set here, in my opinion, so there you go. Now, as far as articulation in Rhino mode goes, uh, you have a lot of joints to work with here for the head, so it can't rotate, can't look up, can't look down, can't tilt, can kind of look side to side. The mouth can open and close, and you can see the teeth in there and everything um, as far as the front legs go. You got the rotational joint outward if you need it. You got the rotation there. I guess you can untab that and get some forward movement if you need it. But again, yeah, the rotational joint here. Uh, as far as knees go, I mean, you can always rotate things around, rotate that around. So I can give you some forward movement there on those legs if you need it. Uh, the front feet here on a ball joint can rotate wiggly waggly up and down all that good stuff um, as far as the hind legs go um, they can move forward they can move back they can move out there's a little hinge there that can allow the legs to move out again those back feet on a ball joint up down rotation wiggly waggly um, the tail is on a hinge can move up and down you get some side to side here up and down and a little tip uh, the tail can move up and down as well. Now, as far as accessories go, you can store the big old blaster here. You can just flip down the handle. It reveals a little tab, and there is a slot right above the booty. And you can just plug that in right there and have a rhino with a big old blaster on his back. And we have some hidden weaponry. That's right. We can open up these hip panels right here and we can flip out these little double-barreled cannons and just close that up, close that up. And now we got some hip cannons here. And we can do that on either side. And I thought this was a pretty cool touch. This one, for some reason, always likes to fight me open. Open! I will just use that. There we go. Flip that out. Close that up. And there you go. Now you got a rhino. All kinds of cannons on it. 
So I can pew pew and bang bang, even in beast mode. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So that is basically it for the Rhino mode, which again looks gorgeous. But let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Let's give him a little spin here. Give that little Rhino a spin. But yes, let's get down to combined motor, as the uh, instructions call it. The combinatorial morphology. Sure, sure. I think they've been watching me with that kind of phrasing. But anyway, <laughs> thinking I'm in the combined mode. First thing we want to do is come back here to the booty. Just untap this section here. Just flip in the very tip of the tail. Then just flip all this in. Just leave that up. And out of your way, we're going to take these skirt panels here, untap these, and again, just get these up like so, and out of the way. We're then going to just untab the shoulders here, just get them up and out of the way as well. So untab that, you can shift them upward like that, get those out of the way. You wanna take these red panels here, just unclip those and just bring them up and out. Right now we're just getting stuff out of the way. So get those out of the way like that. So now what's going to happen here is we're going to take these side skirt sections. The very end here is on a hinge, so you want to take this hinge and flip it all the way in. Like that, and then we're going to take this and just bring it in, and it will sit right behind that silver piece. Like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side, second versus like the first. So flip that little hinge all the way up, bring that up and in. Now be mindful that you're not scraping up your paint. And just sit that in there like that. And next thing you're going to do is just take the shoulders and you're going to tab them back in the robot mode position. So shift them all the way up and tab them in. Shift them all the way up and tab them in and just leave them there for now. So the next thing we're going to do is work on this back section here. So take the head, just kind of get that up and out of the way. Again, just getting things out of the way. Um, you also want to just kind of shift these gold panels up a little bit we're going to take all of this and we're going to oh, first we need to untab the little collar pieces here bring all of this back like so gonna get this up and out of the way push this little section out and then fold in these two little tabs these two little panels rather so they're meeting in the middle then just push that all the way in like so and you want to take these side sections here and bring these down again just make sure you have clearance here bring those all the way down bring those all the way down so we're pretty much getting this section of the backpack as it was in robot mode and then you just collapse this down like so and you want it sitting like that once you've done that you can just take this and tab it back in where it was and bring these little panels back down where they were and that's how you want that looking and next up we're going to open up the chest panel here. It helps if you kind of get under this little silver spot here and just kind of wiggle it up. It is on a double hinge, so you just have to kind of wiggle it up to free it. There we go. Bring that down. This panel right here will fold all the way in. And you can take the combiner port, flip it up. Thankfully that hinge is not super tight. And then you just bring this chest down on the hinge and that's just gonna sit right there. And once that's done, you're going to take the shoulder pad here, just bring the section out, just untab this, and you're going to shift it up. And there's a little tab right here that will go into a slot right here. So just shift that up and push that in like that. Do the same thing here, just bring that out, shift this up, and tab that in. Make sure that pushes in all the way. Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? You know why? Because the camera's on. That's why you're fighting me. There we go. And you want it looking like that. And next up, we're going to take the arms here and just swing them all the way up and under. Take the foot here and just bring that in. Just basically make him hug himself like that. Bring that little shoulder pad up. And second verse is like the first. Just... Make sure that's straight, swing that up and under, bring that paw in, like that, make him hug himself, get that all just nice and squoze it in, like that, bring that uh, elbow pad up, and there you go. 
So now it's time to work on the legular regions. So you're going to just untab the two halves here. Just bring them out. You're going to open up these gold panels here. And they're just going to sit just like that. And what's going to happen here now is you want to untab the robot mode foot. And you're going to rotate it around. And now these two tabs are going to go into these two notches right here. So just swing that around. Line that up, and that should just sit right there, like that. They just take this foot, bring it up and over, and then all of this will just collapse in like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Second vest is just like the first. So bring that around, and tab that in, bring that up and over, and collapse all that in like so. And once you've done that, we can take the two halves and tab them back together. And the last couple of steps here, just take these panels and just clip them right back where they were. Go in your home. There you go. Bring it up and go in your home. Like so. Make sure everything stays nice and squozen. So the little tail section here just tabs right back where it was. Then you take... The rhino head, turn it 180, just bring it down. It will sit in between those shoulder pads like that. Make sure everything's all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have huge rhino in his combined mode. And it's just a big old beefy shin. And it looks quite good. It all compacts up very, very well, very nicely, very cleanly. And overall, just looks... Really, really good. He is ready. He is ready to live that combo life. So, there you go. So, there you have Huge Rhino. And, yeah, I gotta say, I think Tang Toys saved the best for last. Like, this guy is my favorite figure of this set. I think he is phenomenal. Um, the robot mode looks amazing. The beast mode looks amazing. Even the combined mode looks great. Transformation works very well. It's not too fiddly. You don't have any super tight joints on it. So overall, really well done figure. Again, I think they saved the best for last. And that is it. That is all of our Predacons, old and new. And tomorrow, we will finally take all of these bad boys and we will combine them and form Thunder King. So stay tuned for that. So there you go. And now I pick this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And if you use the promo code 2022MGOREVIEW at checkout, you will get a discount on your order. And of course, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Thunder King playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the King of Toys, Huge Rhino! And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Bomb in your face. Oh, hey, another Predacon. Say, what's with all the red and gold? What are you, Iron Man? No, 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 the name's Headstrong. That's a huge rhino. How many of you are going to get that reference?